Well, let's start this thing. Welcome to Taco Clock. Hello. Guess what, guys? I'm back. I am finally, finally, after so many months, I'm uh, in my new place. I'm in my new home. I moved in last week. And uh, I am having my stuff again and I'm able to film again. And I'm actually kind of having some energy and the depression is going uh, far enough away for me to actually work again soon-ish. I feel it coming. So um, I thought, why not give you a little update? So in case you did not know, um, I, s I think I stopped filming last August. Um, that's when shit pretty much hit the fan big time. And uh, honestly, I'm not gonna go into too much detail because for one, I think it's private. And um, let's just say any kind of divorce is horrible. Even if you really try and be kind to one another and not fight about every little detail, even then, divorce is horrible. And uh, that is what I was dealing with um, throughout the last couple of months. Um, almost a year, I can't believe it. Um, and uh, I... I had some struggles there. Um, if you want to know, you just gotta ask me, otherwise I'm not gonna just broadcast it over the internet. And I should learn, mm, batteries always have to be charged for this camera. Let's see how long this one keeps on, because I can see on the screen that uh, battery is really low. So. I have not been doing pretty much anything on the webs. Um, for the last couple of months and the last couple of weeks have been super stressful in a good way though kind of but um, I've been moving uh, I moved together uh, to a new apartment with my best friend so uh, he's my flatmate and he's gonna be in the vlogs every now and then so be aware uh, it's not an intruder, it's not a burglar, it's just my flatmate. And um, we've been pretty much moving in last week. And this week it's been the first week where we do have normal day-to-day -day life without any furniture building or um, unpacking or having to buy stuff that we forgot while moving, all of that. It's just living now. It's just day-to-day -day living. It's the first week. So I thought, well, let's just document it and see how it goes. So um, I'm looking forward to things. And also, while I've been... Oh, and the battery is really low. While I have been... I'm gonna tell you later when the battery is recharged. So it's Wednesday and tomorrow there's a public holiday in Germany. So we thought it would be really, really cool to have some friends over for gaming and uh, do some cooking. And uh, since it's Wednesday evening now, uh, I have to prepare the things we've got to cook tomorrow. Um, we're actually going to barbecue because uh, we have a very nice, lovely grill thing outside on uh, our patio. So uh, I'm gonna take you with me into my lovely cozy kitchen, one of the my favorite rooms in our new apartment. And uh, I'm gonna prepare um, both the ribs with a dry rub and make the barbecue sauce for tomorrow's spare ribs with baked potatoes and coleslaw. So uh, I'm gonna take you with me. So welcome to my lovely kitchen. Let me give you a quick look around before I start prepping the food. So uh, kitchen counter, 
um, dishwashers washing because this is post dinner time. Over there, we actually have kitchenware and stuff from my studio, and uh, we do have a lovely table. Some more artwork and kitchen work, and I'm actually standing in front of the fridge. So let me put you down, get all the spices and stuff together to do the rub for the spare ribs. Let me get a knife and let's hope that I can prep this quite easily.
Now these go into the fridge overnight and tomorrow we can barbecue them. All right, let's get this show on the road. Pot. And then I need my recipe. the spoon on because I hate to just have it sit on the counter. away I can clean up my mess <laughs> This one is absolutely sufficient. So this is the barbecue sauce. The house smelled so good. This one can cool down now and overnight I'm gonna put it into the, fr into the fridge. Let's clean up the rest. And then I'm done for today.
I put stuff away I can talk to you so I've been saying just a hot second ago that I'm not gonna bring back a few formats video formats and I'm gonna have some new ones and I, I'm going to keep some that you're already familiar with so the new week will look as follows. I'm going to uh, publish Art Day on Mondays, but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it weekly. This is a decision I haven't already made. I'm still thinking about it. I still have to figure things out how my daily life goes here, because honestly I'm not only taking care of myself and I'm not only, uh, I, I don't only have to think about myself. Hold on. So um, I don't only have to think about myself and what I need because I moved together with my best friend. And um, as you might know, if you follow me on Instagram, or Twitter, you probably uh, saw photos and stories about him and I. Um, we both have MS. We're both blessed with this disease. And uh, we always say, in a nutshell, he is my legs and I, have, I, I am his brain. So I do not only have to well, take care of myself, but also uh, I have to take care of a couple of things for him or help him out and make time for it just to, well, for example, I keep his calendar, I make sure that he gets to his appointments in time, that he does not, um, well, have an overload of things that he needs to do, that he has time to rest, but also that he gets stuff done, that he, well, does his tasks and uh, stays on top of things and uh, well in return he helps me out with carrying things and walking longer distances for me currently he's driving my car for me because my legs are really shitty and uh, I'm well I don't feel safe enough to drive on my own I will I will get my I, I hope I can do that financially and well technically like um, my, they can change my car to being um, controlled just with my hands instead of my legs. I do have an automatic currently but still it's um, it's been almost three months now that I couldn't drive because my legs are really shitty. Um, it will get better I'm very sure with uh, returning to physical therapy, but in the long run, I think I have to invest the money to um, see and get my car well changed to an accessible car, meaning I can drive it with just my hands. I have a joystick or something for um, uh, for the brakes and gas and such. Anyway. Um, so we we help each other out um, and I need to have some time for that without having myself being overwhelmed or anything. So I'm not sure yet, I will have to figure that out, if I will bring back Art Day in a weekly mode or maybe bi-weekly. I definitely want to have weekly beyond the lines. So my uh, focus currently is on that. Um, I'm still in a depressive episode, so um, I'm also not sure how my creativity is rolling with me, if she's a bitch or if she's nice. So it's a little bit easier for me to just work with coloring books instead of coming up with um, a concept, a video thing all on my own for art day every week um, so maybe I'm just going to bring it back by weekly but I'm gonna let you know don't worry um, a thing that's gonna be weekly are those vlogs here the talker clock it's that's not gonna go away because I keep record of my life 
for you too. I'm, I'm gonna let you in, I'm sharing with you. But it's also just for me to see what went on because forgetting things is also a wonderful symptom of MS and I don't want to forget things. I want to be able to relive relive um, certain situations if I so desire. So um, another thing that I had on the channel is Keep Dancing, my show about MS. It's just one episode that is available for now, but I'm gonna bring that back. Uh, I'm also going to, I don't know when um, it's gonna restart, but I guess it's gonna be this year. And it also will go back to its former schedule, like once a month, there's going to be a new video. Um, and I will have to let go, draw for initiative, I had already said that in earlier vlogs, I'm not gonna um, bring back that show. I also have to let go, and I'm very sad about that, I have to let go Gamer's Couch. Um, this was my gaming show, board gaming show, with my soon-to-be ex-husband. And for now, since, well, I don't see us recording that video every other week. Um, we're on okay-ish terms. We talk nicely with each other. We help each other out. That's not the problem. But it's not, our relationship is not progressed to us being friends again. So um, I have to let that show go. I'm currently thinking about bringing um, a new show at one point, um, but I have to discuss that in depth with um, my roommate or my flatmate, as I said, because we don't share a room but uh, my flatmate or um, also my gaming group, see how that goes. Maybe I'm going to have a Let's Play or a Watch It Played at one point. I want to do something board game related on my channel because this is a very important thing to me. It's one of my greatest passions. But I'm not all sure yet what it's going to be. Another thing that I'm going to start here is a video podcast. And we actually recorded the first episode. And it's going to be called Durchschnittskuhl. Now, you might now say, huh? what? Here's the thing. Um, it's a podcast that my flatmate and I do together. And we are looking at a bi-weekly uh, publishing schedule, talking about everything and anything, um, philosophy, politics, history, any anything that you can think of. It's pretty much our opinions and our experiences on things. And it's going to be in German because my flatmate is doing okay in English, but for the finer nuances of things he wants to say, he's not really secure in doing that podcast in English. So I'm going to publish that in German on my channel. If there's anybody out there who wants to do a subtitle or a caption in English for the podcast, and help me out there, feel free. I would be very, very appreciative and very grateful for that. Um, but I currently do not have the energy, the time and the focus to do that on my own. That might change at one point. I'm not saying it's, it's never going to happen, but for the foreseeable future, that podcast will be, or video podcast, will be in German. And um, I haven't decided yet when I'm going to start publishing. We'd like to record a couple of uh, episodes first so that we have them in stock in case one of us has a really bad week or no time to record at all. So I'm going to let you know in future vlogs here when that will happen. <coughs> Sorry. And uh, that is pretty much uh, what's what's gonna come up, what's gonna happen here. Um, there's there's a few changes that, well, I'm not all that happy with, um, but I that I have to deal with. 
that I have to accept and manage somehow. But um, I think it will all work out in the end. Who knows what the future brings? Who, who knows what is going to happen? And uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let my brain do its magic uh, when it comes to board games to get a new show on the road that is, well, fun for you to watch. So for now, as you can see behind me, kind of, Hold it, all the way around, there, ta-da, the kitchen is clean and uh, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the evening now, do a little video editing and uh, tomorrow we've got company over. I? May I introduce you to the master grill barbecue sergeant in the house? We are ready to make the spirit. But you're not the grill sergeant. No, that's you. I, I, I mean, grill I'm sergeant. the drill sergeant. Drill. I'm the drill sergeant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is the grill sergeant. Yes, now. She's, she's my drill sergeant. Of and course I am. Let me put them down. And now... The awesomeness that is called spare ribs. Yeah. Oh yeah. <coughs> Oopsie. Oh, 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 oh. I have to make like a glowy thing when you open that. I've gotta add to a special effect or something. Oh, it's nice and warm and cozy. And we've got a pole, it's one meter in the back. Now, let's get the piggy on the road. Oh, we have to wait first. Yeah, for the right temperature. For 150? 140. 100, 130 to 140 All right. degrees Celsius. Of course. We never talk in Fahrenheit. Yeah. Or we hardly ever do. Because European. What? Nothing. Oh, mm. you found my apron. Oh, I thought you'd get one of those barbecue tweezers. No. Ah, okay. Smart man. Good, good grilled sausage. Bye, pork. See you in two and a half hours.
it's been my week, of course. I had my friends over for gaming and uh, we enjoyed a wonderful evening of lovely food and uh, gaming. But I totally forgot to uh, record the video for the final part of the spirit. I also forgot to take a photo, so I can show you what they look like. But let me tell you, they were yummy. And uh, we enjoyed just a wonderful evening um, together and I'm so looking forward to more of those to come. Um, I, I really liked just gaming with my best friend throughout the last couple of months and of course my mom. Um, but I'm, I missed a bigger gaming group and I'm very happy and very grateful that, well, it seems I do have a new gaming group uh, that comes together very regularly and uh, enjoys board games together and pen and paper and such. So looking forward to that. Today, honestly, I didn't do anything. I could hardly get out of bed. Um, I was super tired. Bones were just aching. We do have a slight weather change here. So I'm guessing that where that's where it comes from. Bestie was also struggling today energy wise so it's probably not just me um, but we just uh, finished dinner and uh, we're now going to play a few rounds of Quirkel uh, on the patio and enjoy ourselves before tomorrow there's going to be a really um, full day for the both of us but that's a topic that I'm going to share with you uh, in the next vlog so uh, thank you for watching. Um, I'm really happy that I'm back and able to record videos again and get into my, well, usual routine. Because honestly, I missed do I missed doing anything creative, and I'm so looking forward to, um, well, uh, throughout the next let's say four days. Uh, and there is a plan for me. I'm going to record the next Beyond the Line videos and uh, I'm very very much looking forward to that. I hope that my health uh, cooperates and that energy wise I'm doing good so uh, that I can create some artwork and well get that wonderful feeling back. Um, but for now I'm gonna leave you. I hope you have a great weekend. Take good care of yourself. Do something that you really enjoy. Um, take a moment to, well, just be content in whatever it is that you're doing. If you have questions, comments, leave them in the comment section below and you can connect with me on social media. So Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, I'm all yours. Just look for Pinselgeschichten or Sarah König. That's um, my handle on Twitter. So take good care, have fun and thank you very much for watching.